Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the last video. So, yesterday I was at Cindy's uh, helping her with some fencing and stuff, and uh, look what I borrowed. That doesn't make much sense now. Hang on. So, after taking the bottom off, uh, I managed to get an IPC to fit in the van. So, what I might do now is go and see if I can fill it with water from our barrage aim up by the gate. So here it goes, I've got the um, submersible pump in, it's, it's on the bottom of the leafy pond, but submersible pump's in the water, and Max is overseeing everything, aren't you? Good boy. And then we've got the hose going into the IBC in the back of the van, and then the Bluetti to run the uh, pump. So let's switch it on and see what happens. Oh, pump's running. Pump's definitely running. Oh, hang on. And we have water. Not a terribly fast rate of flow, I must say, but pump's doing 166 watts. It might be stuck on the bottom or something. Let's go and have a look. See how much water we've got coming in here. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it's a very fast flow. But... So what I intend doing with this, if it's cleanish, is uh, the pond levels drop. So I need to fill the pond up. So I'm going to use this to do that. We'll see how it goes. It's probably on the bottom, so it's not flowing very well. I mean, yeah, the level's really low. But I know over there, it's about six meters deep, so. And we have had this overflowing. So see this level here, it's about two meters or more. So we're two meters lower than our highest level. But it's still pumping on. Well, it's still. Just maybe a bit silty in the bottom. I can hear it still running, so that's good. So what I, if this works, what I will do, and what I've always intended to do, is make a raft so I can get onto this. Uh, I need to clear all this stuff away, especially now when it's the water level's low. Easier to do it. And uh, how's it going, mate? Good. Hmm. Yeah, uh, so I can get around the edges and clean it out, and maybe clean some of this muck out at the bottom. Um, but I think that'll be a major empty out and uh, re refill job. But saying that, we don't use this for anything. It's just a pond that's here. We don't use it for irrigation as yet, but um, I think we may do in the future. So I've uh, sort of put an end to the experiment prematurely because um, this water from the pond is dirty. And it stinks. So, I think if we want water for the pond, we're going to have to choose a different uh, water source, put it that way. This stuff, as you can see, isn't the best. And, um, I wish it was smelly vision because uh, it's got a distinct vegetation smell about it. So there you go. So I won't be putting that in the pond. But what I will be doing with it is watering the plants. I'm sure they'd appreciate some pond water. Yeah. It smells fertile. <laughs> That's one thing to say. <laughs> okay, cool. So this beautiful scenery is the uh, Barrage Aim 
Castilla Novo. So all this vast expanse of water you see is uh, the water that feeds the river beach in Castilla Novo, which is very popular with um, nearly everyone in this local area. So we came up to have a look, um, have a bit of a reconnaissance of the area just to see um, if it would be suitable for a future project we have coming up. And to be honest, uh, the water didn't look all that clean, but uh, on top of that, the access was um, really not very good. So we decided against it. So I'm taking the goat milking stand. And <coughs> I'm going to feed the goats. I've got their food here. I'm going to take the stand up to them and leave it in there so they get used to it and they can climb all over it. And then uh, it'll be much easier when we have to use it. Hungry guys? <laughs> I had to go and put their food down for them first because they're uh, they must be hungry. Whew. They seem to be nibbling their way through everything here. Oh, really interested in what's happening. So we'll keep this here in the shade and they can they can jump all over it and do what they want. And they're exploring it already, which is great. Hey, hey look, look. There you go, mister. There you go, there you go. Grab that. There you go. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, it's not so bad. Not so bad. I know there's no food up there for you, but yeah, that works. If you had food, you'd be more interested in the food than trying to get your head out, wouldn't you? Yeah? That's okay. So Bertie wants to go now. How's that? I put the chain on, look. Oh, fitted and working. Hey? You said, well, where's the food? Where's all the food gone? Cool. Okay, guys. Calm now. Calm now. There we go. There we go. That's easy. Good boys and girls. Yeah, there is no food in there. Yeah, we're going to start ramping up um, what well, they do get fed now anyway, because now there's not a lot of green stuff left here at all. There's obviously the brambles. There's all this broom they've been eating here. Um, and a few brambles and stuff in there, but they're clearing through areas really well. Um, I'm finding, you know, they've got little trails now in here and amongst the rocks and stuff. Uh, this is where their house is going to be in here under the shade of these big, um, up the top there. There's one, two, three, four, five cork oaks in there. So I'm going to put their house up there, which is not using up any land which anything grows on. They like being up high on rocks and stuff anyway. So we're going to have a house up there in the shade of the oak trees and these pine trees, as we know, are all going. So I'm going to use the pine trees to construct their house. You can see they've nearly stripped all the bark off most of these um, their brooms and, and broom type things. But there's still quite a few to go. These here, this one here's they've had a good go at. This one here they've hardly touched. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll start ramping up there. And they've been through here as well. You can see what they do. And they make little tracks through uh, down so they can see their best mate. Where's the goat's best mate? Where's the goat's best mate? There he is. Yeah. Here's your friends, look. Yeah. Hey? Here's your best mate, Bridget. Yeah. We're going to feed Max now. 
Okay, uh, just want to show you this, it's, it's working. So I've got uh, eight mil roll plugs, and we know the thread is roughly inside, it's roughly 10 mil. I'm gonna find the hole and just push them flush. Yeah, so it's there. And now I know that the end of the thread inside is that deep. You push that in until roughly that deep. So the roll plugs now are, just give it a little tap. So obviously this is 10 mil, the holes are 8 mil, so this won't go through. So this brings the roll plug to the end of the slate where the thread is. See the difference? All I do then is put washers on these big long screws. And then hang on. So all we have to do now is, I'll just move that in there slightly, end the way, off. Put the cushion on, get it lined up, and there's no hole, hang on. This side already had a pin on it here, and I can't get it out, so all we need to do is just line them up. So then all we do is find the end of our roll plug. somewhere in there. There she is. Yeah, nice and tight. My homemade um, centre pocket thing. And it would nice and tight. A lot of people are saying when the balls hit this it will break and everything but if I, I made it my table you play gentle. Okay so we're getting closer to the finished product. Uh, cloths on there, cushions are on, all the aluminium bits are on the side, yeah. So we're nearly there. The only thing we need is the corner pockets, yeah. Um, and these were wrapped originally in leather. I can show you the leather bits, yeah. Here's a piece of leather that, that came off. Um, yeah, it was stitched with this nylon stuff and uh, yeah, so basically we need to replicate that somehow. I think I'll find a way of doing it. I'm going to wrap, wrap them with, uh, we found some black material, so I'm going to wrap them with that. And then the actual cushions themselves, my glamorous assistant here <laughs> has started to... This is just a temporary... Yeah, so she's going to crochet... Well, that's a crochet bit. The cushions for us. We started off doing... Um, I've also got a, a macrame one. We don't know which is going to be best. But, but I, I needed a mould. I needed I a mould. I like the crochet, so we're doing that. So, oh. uh, I'm just going to film this bit. <laughs> so what I've done is, I've got some, um, this is a, come on brain. Tonic. This is a tonic water bottle. I've cut it to shape, to fit. So, so it fits the, the middle pocket perfectly, yeah? So I'm just going to crochet this around this shape. Yeah, and then put a little tassel on the bottom. Uh, and then I can, if it's this shape, I can then make a bracket on the inside and screw it to the inside of the cushion. And uh, I can stitch it to the material that I wrap these with along the back. So, brilliant. So we've got one for, one for the middle cushions and a different shape um, the corner cushions so she's got two there two templates 
that she can um, basically crochet over like this. Yeah, down to here, tassel on the bottom. Golden tassels even, that would be great. <laughs> Golden tassels. Yeah, and then, then I can, uh, well, she makes six of them, then I can, I can stitch them to the table. And then we can have a game of pool. So yeah, I think you'll agree, it's, um, it's looking rather smart. Anyway, really pleased with that. Um, yeah, over the moon. Not long now before we're playing pool, which is awesome. Let's go see what Andrew's doing. Hey, you. What are you up to? As you know, it's hot. Uh huh. So I'm going to um, make an attempt at making some iced tea. Oh, cool. So to exactly. Do... <laughs> well, hopefully, yeah. So obviously, to start off with, I need to make some tea. So I'm just gonna. I'm only gonna do about a liter in here. Okay. Um, and we still have about half a cup of tea left in the pot from this morning, which you forgot to drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck in, I don't know, three, four more tea bags in there, um, top it up and let that brew. And then when it cools down, we shall come back to the next part. Okay. Okay, guys, here's for something different. You've seen this before when I've done the dartboard. Uh, so what I need is a two discs um of this sterling board or uh, osb board i need one at 340 and one at 305 so half that is 170 and the next one should be 152 and a half realistically so i'll set it up and we'll have a go and make sure you leave room for the jigsaw to operate do both can't film sorry so there we have it two discs one at uh, 340 mil and one at 305 mil now let's go and see what we can do with these okay so now we have our two discs of um, OSB oriented strand board and we have uh, just cut this out of an old um, sofa cushion with this very sharp knife and all I'm going to do is place that on a larger circle of, of stuff. And I've got some material here, kindly donated by the wife, which is just an old um, t-shirt that she no longer wears, apparently. So we're just going to put the t-shirt, this, uh, just using material, I should have cut out previously, but hey ho. like so. So this could be any material really. Um, I'm going to try it because it's striped. I'm going to try and get the stripes in the right places. Yeah. So just pull it fairly tight-ish and staple it. I'd say 40 mil, 40, 50 or 2 inches in. Yeah. The same on this side. I'm trying to get the stripe straight. Not that it's going to stay straight. Hey ho. <laughs> Nowhere near straight. Shall I've got you a plain t shirt? It's fine because this is just, um, let's say, temporary until and she crochets the cover for it. She's going to do Cornish flag crochet pattern on top of here. Um, but obviously not yet. So I'm just pulling it tight all the way around basically. And I'm eating ice cream. Nom 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 nom. The wind's gone crazy.
me doing this because I found the staple gun. <laughs> there we go, lots of staples. So it looks something like, oh I need something there, look at that. <laughs> How's that looking? Not too bad, eh? Yeah. Um, because this is um, this is bamboo clothing, isn't it? Yeah. So it'll be nice and stretchy anyway. But yeah, I can imagine this being a nice Cornish flag on top of on top of uh, this. It'd be lovely. So now I need to cut off the excess. Ruined your shirt. No, I was hoping to wear that tonight. Well, you still can. <laughs> Might be a bit aerated. Or X rated. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. look. Oh, it's a front oh. as well, look. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, on top of this now we're going to centre our second disc, something like a central edge ish and all the screws that fell on the floor I'll pick up again. Yeah, there's a good couple of little tucky bits here what? that just need to be pulled in and yeah. get your stapling. Just, uh, yeah, any of there. these like there. What? This? Yeah. You don't want any. This is temporary, but hey ho. Well, if you're going to do it, do it properly. Yes, I know. I'm happy with that. I'm not. Remember your saying. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to centralise that on there best as I can and then get these 30 mil long screws for two 15 mil bits of OSB so we're on the limit here don't want to go right through and Of course, you don't have to use OSB. Probably be better off using ply. Yeah. Ply is much stronger. And uh, screw. Yeah. So there we go. Now the reveal. What, what it's going to be fitted to. Come and have a look at this. Now we can reveal what we're going to fit. Uh, what we're going to fit it to. This is, this is what's left over from the party last night, and this has been designed a bit snugly somehow. Honestly, there on the top, and then that gives us a nice little stool to sit on in the games room when you're waiting for someone to thrash you at pool. <laughs> Okay, iced tea part two. Well, it's still warm tea at the moment. Okay. It's, uh, and this is, like I said, it's lemon tea. So iced lemon tea will do. So we get some lemon juice. There we go. I'm actually going to pour that into the teapot. And it's foaming up because there's some bicarbonate soda in there. Why? Apparently, that takes away the little bit of bitterness. Because I'm steeping this for, or I have steeped this for a good, whoa. Over the sink. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what happens with fresh bicarb. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did buy some fresh stuff, by the way. <laughs> See, this is what you get, warts and all, with us. Yeah. 
Now I've yet to add any sweetener to this, but I shall be putting in, I'm just going to have a smell because it's, yeah, it needs a little bit of sweetness in that. And it's the sort of thing I don't want to, you, you don't want to put in too much. So basically this is going to be a, like a concentrate, so you wouldn't drink this straight out of the bottle like you would the the shop bought, bought stuff. So hopefully that's had a, a quick bit of last bits of fluffiness out. What I will do, I should just get a glass with some honey in it. I need a little bit. Our own lovely honey. We do need to go and smells really strong. Smells lovely, doesn't it? So we, but we do need to go and uh, see how our bees are doing, don't we? To get. Mm -hmm. And to that, I'm just going to use a little bit of warm water. Just a little bit of warm water. Makes it a bit easier to pour into the, the jug. What's that like a tablespoon of honey? Yeah. And obviously, you know, we'll we'll taste this and see how it goes. And uh, if it needs a little bit more, we can add some more. I just want to get that diluted. My honey solution. And that we're just going to leave to cool down and then I sh once it's got to room temperature I'll put it in the fridge to, to cool down properly and then we shall be trying that later. Cool. Right. The husband, or the, the all-knowing one, has had a quick taste test and has decided it's not lemony enough. Uh, lemony. I can't even say that. Lemony enough. So. I reckon two more. Whole lemons. Two more whole ones. Yeah. Actually, I will put one in. Okay. And then see how that goes. See it. See because <laughs> obviously the acid reacts yeah, with yeah, the bicarb. Yeah. So. So mind you, it's typical of anything that I'm creating. I still think we should put the pithy bits in. No, it looks like a decent beer. <laughs> it does actually, doesn't it? <laughs> right, I'll give that a quick shake in there. Ideal. So after our uh, little taste test by the um, authority on these things, two juiced lemons has worked fine. So this is actually quite strong at the moment because like I said, this is like a concentrate. So when this is cooled down, it will go in the fridge um, and then we can dilute it with lots of ice cubes, a final slice of lemon and maybe some mint leaves. As a mm. and, lots of, and lots of water, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Or as, as to taste. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, we're now sampling our iced tea, which is lovely. Cheers. It's not bad actually. Oh, oh that's really good. Yeah. 
Yeah, not not quite beer, but so. <laughs> uh, thanks, th thanks for watching, guys, and um, thanks for your likes and subscribes. Don't forget, ring that little notification bell, and um, and don't forget you can give us super thanks as well, which is just uh, amazing. But thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is just um, dig the, the centre of this wallow out a little bit. Give the pigs a helping hand, because um, it's really muddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, after my laces, look. Stop it, you. And I uh, just didn't want it overspilling, wasting water, basically, so. We need my shoelaces in them. Yeah, so we'll just dig it a little bit deeper in the middle and then they can uh, I'm put some more water in it in a minute. Yeah. What are you doing, you young chicks? <laughs> well worth it. I think they need a little bit more water in there, yeah. don't they? Is that better for you now? Hey? There's a little bit of mud here, where Cindy is. Yeah. Oh, you look so beautiful now! <laughs> I'm trying to get my food out Hey you! Stop it! Stop it! Should I go and turn this on? I'll do it. It might be a bit warm or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wilbur's got a good scratching post going on here. Right. Was that a nice scratch, Wilbur? Hey? Oh, look. Yeah, that'll do. Look, we've got some fresh water for you. I don't know why we have to speak in a silly voice, but... Sometimes I should.